As you probably know if you're watching this, in my last video I announced I'd give away two of my filter modules. The rules were simple. Leave a comment saying you're interested to be included in the raffle. A lot of you did that. I've counted 508 entries in total. And now it's time to pick the winners. Initially, I was planning to simply drop all the names into some boring randomizer algorithm. But what would be the fun in that? So instead, we'll torture this transistor into producing some white noise. And then we'll sample that noise to give us some winning numbers. Cool, but torture that transistor how exactly? It's quite simple. We ground the base, leave the collector dangling, and then blast the emitter with 12 volts through a decently sized resistor. Since this is really backwards compared to the way it's supposed to be used, the transistor won't enjoy it and will start to complain. The sound of that complaining can then be picked up from the emitter. Since the signal is pretty weak and also has a huge DC offset, we'll first need to AC couple and then amplify it with an op amp. As you can see, I'm re-adding a smaller DC offset with a trimmer here. This is needed to condition the signal for the sampling process later. Lucky for us, I've already set this up on this side of my breadboard. Let's see how it sounds. As you can see and hear, the noise is <laughs> indeed quite noisy. So what next? To extract some sort of information from this chaos, we'll use an old pal that you might have seen in one of my very first videos. The ADC0820. This is an 8-bit analog to digital converter that's able to transform our noise into binary numbers. How does this work? Well, the thing about noise is that it's basically just a quickly and randomly fluctuating voltage. If we stop that fluctuation at any point in time, we get a clearly defined voltage. Convert this analog into digital data and we've got a winning number. Thankfully, this chip is able to do both at the same time. Sample the incoming voltage and then convert it to a binary value. The way this works is simple. We feed our noise into this input while sending a trigger signal into this pin. For every trigger, the chip will sample the noise at that moment and send out a corresponding binary value on these eight outputs. And because it will hold that binary data until the next trigger comes in, we can implement a nice visual flourish here. I'll be sending in a very fast LFO that constantly re-triggers the sampling and conversion while I push this button. Then when I let it go, we get our random number. The only slight problem is that there are way more entries in the giveaway than there are numbers in an 8-bit space. 508 versus 256. So we'll have to get a bit creative. Thankfully, our chip here has something called an overflow output. This is normally used to chain multiple ADCs to pass data between them. But for our purposes, we can just treat it as an additional output bit. We only have to keep in mind that it is active low, meaning that it will go down to zero volts whenever the sampled voltage does not fit into an 8-bit space. Which is why I connected the LED backwards and to the positive rail here so it will only light up when the overflow output is low. Now with this, we'll have nine bits to work with in total. Conveniently, the biggest number that can be represented with nine bits is 511. So we get a near perfect mapping between our possible bit states and the giveaway entries. Granted, there will be four bit states that don't represent any of the contestants. But for simplicity's sake, I've decided to just do a resampling if any of those should turn up. Okay, so let's do a test run first. Here on this side of the breadboard, I've set up the ADC already. Now all we need to do is connect our noise generator to that ADC. All set. Send in our LFO and we can give this a try. It seems to work okay. Now here's how I decided to do this. In this spreadsheet I have all of the giveaway entries in a pre-randomized list. This will ensure the raffle is fair, even if our circuit doesn't produce perfectly random values. All of the entries are assigned a number, starting with zero. Because counting in binary, 
you start with zero. As I said before, our list ends at number 507. So I've marked the last four entries as invalid. If those come up, we'll resample. But if any of the others come up, then we'll have our winners. Okay, hope you're ready. Here's our first number. Zero one zero one 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 zero one zero. And here's the second one. Zero one 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 zero zero one one. The transistor has spoken, I guess. Cool. Now to convert these numbers into decimal, we simply use this formula, where you take the value of each bit, multiply it by two to the power of the bit's position, and then add all the results together. And our winners are 186 and 243. Let's see who that is. It's, uh, let's see, it's, um, it's SB and uh, Robot Dog. Congratulations. Each of you just won a filter module. I'll put a comment under your comments to let you know how to claim the prize. To everyone else, thanks a lot for participating and sorry you came up empty. If you'd still like to have one of these modules, you can now find the PCB layout files on my Patreon to, you know, just make your own. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and until next time. See ya.